everybody, Adriana Otero here with Best Life Realty. Hope you're having a wonderful day and a wonderful start to your spring now that our weather has started to warm up a little bit. Now let's get into this month's market update reflecting on sales activity and market trends that we had in Morgan County, Colorado during the month of May. So for starters, our number of homes for sale didn't really vary very much from last month. Um, now that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's a good thing I think because it means that a lot of people have not taken their home off the market and we are still seeing a steady stream of good sales activity in our Morgan County market. Another good sign that our market is still holding strong is our number of new listings is actually barely keeping up with the number of homes under contract every month. So that definitely shows that there's still a demand and a need for more inventory. So if you're thinking about selling your house, there definitely is still a good time to do that now if of course you feel comfortable letting people in and out of your home. The couple of things that didn't really have much of a change were our number of closed sales, our percentage of list price, and our a couple of things that there really wasn't very much a couple of different <coughs> A couple of things that we didn't really have much of a change in from this month to last month were our number of closed sales, our average days on mark, median days on market. A couple of other things that we didn't really have much of a change on were our number of closed sales, our percentage of list price, and our number of A couple of things that we didn't really have much of a big change on were our number of closed sales, our percentage of list price, and our median days on market. Now all of these are good signs because it means that homes are still able to be getting closed on, a seller is still getting relatively close to their list price, staying still at about 98%, so the so home values are still holding strong, and our number of our median days on market is still staying at around 56. This means that homes are still able to be getting closed on despite the chaos that's going on in the world. So definitely good news for anybody that's considering buying or selling a home right now. We did have one big jump and that was in our price per square foot. Um, the last two months we were kind of staying at about 120, 121 dollars a square foot, where May we actually jumped up quite a bit to about 143 dollars a square foot. Now that could be largely attributed to a lot of homes that maybe were remodeled going on the market during the month of May and getting closed on during the month of May. Now I, the reason I say that as opposed to homes that were new built is because our median sales price actually went down just a little bit from about 258000 in April to 249000 in May. What that tells us is that homes are still selling, but they're selling for a higher price per square foot value than they are a higher sales price, which usually indicates homes that are maybe smaller in size, but are remodeled, which would warrant a higher price per square foot. So if you have any questions on the statistics, you may take a closer look at them on my website at www.bestlifere.com. If you are interested in buying or selling your home, I'd be happy to help. Please reach out to me anytime at 970-370-0135. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.